right over here. You're gonna freak out. You are gonna freak out. Pretty well. Whoa! What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. If you missed yesterday's video, you may have missed that I am getting ready to drain my pool. A lot of you have been asking me, hey Omar, drain your pool. Maybe there's something at the bottom. Yes, I mean, you can see right now, there's movement inside of my pool. There's something definitely in there. I'm not sure if it's a snake or a turtle or maybe more fish. I have caught fish before in this pool. But today, we're gonna find out. I bought this pump right over there. And I got this right here. I should have bought another hose though. I didn't even think about it. But yeah, I have to drain the pool anyways because I have to pressure wash in there and refill it with new water because that water hasn't been treated in quite some time. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drain the pool. Whatever is in there living, hopefully I can catch it and maybe release it into the water over there. If it's a fish or a turtle or whatever the case, uh, I'm not gonna handle no water moccasins, so I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I'll handle another snake, but not a, not a water moccasin. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. It's really early in the morning too. Haven't had a cappuccino yet. Having a problem starting the engine. Brand new, I mean, I checked everything, checked the oil, checked the gas. I don't know, it's just not starting up. Come on. Watch it start up, because you're around now. All right, have that on. Let's try the choke off. Okay. I am so frustrated right now. So I left my pump running, I actually had it on for a little bit. I come back a few hours later and it literally must have turned off within five minutes of me leaving because I came back and my pool is still full and I'm kind of upset about it. And I tried starting it again, I could not get this thing started. I have no idea, like I've bought brand new things before and sometimes they could be a little bit stubborn. So I came over to Home Depot and I rented I don't know if you could see it. It's an electrical pump. So I don't have that problem of uh, uh, uh. my arm hurts so much from trying to start this thing. It's it's ridiculous. This is what the pump looks like. And just attach that hose to it right there. Now I got one of them working right now. I, I did rent two of them. There's the POS that I got. That's why we need to stick with electrical. I mean not a knock on gas or anything, but I just plug this baby up and look at it go. It is pretty hot outside. And yes, I have kind of like a farmer's tan. Tan face, marshmallow body. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this guy works, okay? I'm gonna plug her up and we should have this pool drained in, I don't know, a couple of hours. Now, they get clogged up really easily, so you have to kind of shake them off there's a lot of leaves down there i thought i seen something moving around there but i don't know could be could be just me it's still too green to see Ugh. oh yeah and that's what she does okay i'm taking you back to the store all right fam i'm gonna leave for a little bit and hopefully in a few hours we'll I mean, I, I don't want it to drain completely because there could be some more fish down there. Hey, Luna, how you doing? You wanna go for a swim? Oh, let's go for a swim. Wanna go swimming? Uh, no. No? Oh uh, yeah, it was really hot. Felt like I was gonna faint a little bit ago. Waiting for Melissa to get home and, and I'm gonna run over to the house and see how the draining of the pool is going. I don't know if I'm gonna pressure wash in there or maybe just fill it up with water. I have to figure it out. You want to go in the pool so bad, don't you, Luna? You want to go in the pool. You want to go in the pool. Where's your ball? Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Where's the ball? Go get the ball. Where's all oh, the balls down there? I'm sorry. If you have a dog that likes, you know, tennis balls and stuff, you know how it is. Like they, they chew them up and stuff. We did some fan mail last night and it's really messy it's been sitting like that for a little while somebody sent us this floating turd you put this like at the bottom of a bathtub and then it's like a floating turd it's a floater we also got some haunted dolls including a really haunted one that was at an antique store 
and they said a lot of weird things were happening when she was there. Oh, wait, here she is over here. It's a black doll, like a, they say that dolls are never dressed in black. Her name is Agatha. I'm gonna take her over to my, my house maybe. You wanna go for a swim? Come on, let's go for a swim. It's my pet pig Bubba. Hey, where are you going? Come on, let's go outside. He heard swim, he was like, no thanks. You want this? You want this? Go get it. There she goes. Give me, give me the ball, give me the ball. Okay, you gotta give it to me. I can't get Luna out of the pool. Hey, this pool looks a lot nicer than the other one, huh? What are you doing, little guy? Oh my goodness. I knew there was something else in this pool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, I gotta turn this off. There's an alligator in my swimming pool. Okay, never in a million years I would have expected a gator to be in my pool. Now, not gonna lie, here in Florida, it's not uncommon especially when you live on a lake or a body of water and your pool happens to be open. Happens all the time with snakes, alligators, but I never thought an alligator was in my pool. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Look, he's right over there. Look, I knew there was something big in this water. Wow, he's so cute. What the hell am I gonna do? I don't know if I should call the police. All right, uh, you know what? I know who I'm gonna call right now. Yo. Check out what is in the pool. You're not gonna believe this. Come over here. No, 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 no. It's not a fish. It's not a snake. It's not a turtle. I, I don't know if you could see him. He's hanging out over there. Where? Look, right over here. You're gonna freak out. You are gonna freak out. Yeah. Look, it's in there. I promise you. You sure, dude? Dude, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. I'm not gonna tell you. I want you to see for yourself. You see? No, I see it's black. Uh, these guys don't believe me. I there's a free, to believe, there's a legit us. monster in there. There's a real monster. I've seen some clickbait. <laughs> nah, this ain't no clickbait, bro. It's not no fish either. No, come on. Come back up to say hi. His name's Godzilla. Let me ask you a question. Would you go in the pool right now? And go no way. I was going to say a bad word right now. Like, he's right. I think he's right down there. You're your pool. You got, you're going to, are you, you sure? You're Dude, I was draining my pool and it was right up top, like outside of the pool. And then it went back in. All right, these guys think I'm like smoking something right now. <laughs> Look. Oh! What, 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 where? Where? Look right there, dude. Go over there, bro. No way. What, it's freaking, it's freaking Godzilla. Is it an alligator? What? A baby alligator? Go over there. Holy crap! Look! 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 It has to be like four feet big. Four feet long. That is insane. The thing is, is like I'm afraid to call like a a trapper because they'll kill him. It doesn't look like it's aggressive. I mean, it didn't like. No, he wasn't trying to bite my pole. But hey, we get in that water, that might be a different story though. I think he was more scared of me. You know, that's the whole thing with, with gators is people think they're like man eaters. I mean, some of them can be. Hey, let's go get a chicken and float it on top. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen my video where I caught fish in that pool. One thing that the county does here if you let your pool go is they will put fish in your pool to control the mosquitoes because we have a really bad mosquito problem. Honestly, like, yeah, I haven't had any mosquito issues with that pool because of the fish. Now, I caught the fish and I put them in the pond behind me. It took me a while to catch them, by the way, and I, I'm pretty sure they survived. I hope they did. Now, I really want this gator to survive, so there's a few people that I know that are big reptile lovers and they'll be able to guide us in the right direction. My friend Robbie from Animal Crossings of Florida, and I know for a fact that Savannah has worked with trappers in the past 
and they've caught these big like man-eater alligators and they bring them to Gatorland. In fact, Gatorland buys them because they want to save their life because the trappers, most of the time, they'll catch these gators and they'll sell them for meat and for their skin and stuff like that. And I do not want that to happen. This gator is, how old do you think that gator is? He's four or five, maybe two years, maybe? Yeah, he's not that old. He seems like he's still a baby, but I don't know. I'm gonna call Savannah and see what she thinks. Hey, Savage Savannah, how are you doing? Hey, hey what's up? What you doing? Uh, just, uh, chilling. Hey, what are you doing today? I hope you're not busy. It's my day off, but uh, I'm just doing stuff, getting ready to go to Cuba. Oh, you're going to Cuba? Yeah, I'm going to Cuba on Thursday. What are you going to do in Cuba? Um, uh, work with crocodiles over there, work for Gators, people go we'll take them to fly, and things like that. So I, I guarantee you an adventure today if you come over to my house. Okay. Probably a, a much better adventure than Cuba has to offer. All right, I, I, don't, I don't know if you could do this or not. So um, remember I was telling you that like about my pool, like I caught fish and stuff in it? Yes, yes, yes. So, you saw that? Well, I couldn't see anything in that underwater video. Well, today I drained my pool, and when I had it about maybe a foot or so deep, I caught, I mean, I didn't catch it, but there was an alligator on the outside of it, and he went inside of the pool. And what? What do I do? Like, do I need to call the police? Do you think you can come out here with somebody and, and maybe rescue him? He's in my pool right now. He went back in my pool. He was kind of sunbathing and then he went back in the pool. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll come take a look at it. Like, uh, I'll, I'll come take a look at it. It's take me a little while to get over there. All right, that's, I'll wait for you. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna text you my address right now. Thank you so much. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Don't touch it and don't mess with it until I get there. Just like, leave it. Should I drain the pool a little bit more? Like, cause I took the drains out. Like, I didn't want him to get hurt. Um, leave it like it is for right now. Maybe he'll get out on his own. Um, oh, he got out. He got, as soon as I started draining the pool, he got out. But when he seen me, he got spooked. Uh, just leave it all like it is. And then, uh, and then I'll come over there. Text me your address and I'll come over there and then we'll figure out a plan. All right. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Dang, bro. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, all right, Savannah's on her way. She, oh, he's chilling right there. She said not to touch him or mess with him. Oh, look. Oh, he got scared. He's really scared. Yeah. Dude, this is so cool. I would have never thought an alligator would be in my pool. All right, just got off the phone with Savannah. She's actually at the front gate. She'll know what to do. She's a professional. She's been around thousands and thousands of gators in the wild. I mean, crocodiles all over the world, honestly. All right, Savannah to the rescue. This is my friend, Savannah. Hey. AKA Savage Savannah. <laughs> you may recognize her from some of the videos I've done at Gatorland. That's, that's her. Like the one that she manhandles like man eaters and stuff. <laughs> she does not believe that I have a gator in my pool. She did bring a professional trapper with her and they have these special licenses like only they can get alligators from the wild if they're like nuisance. But the trapper does not want to be on video so I'm only going to show Savannah. They did come along and uh, yeah. Let's go take a look. I, mean, I see on the news stories of alligators in swimming pools all the time, but I never really believe it because I think that if You've it never was caught a get gator from someone's Not pool? out of a swimming pool, no. Hey, Hello. what's up? Good How are you? you? Good to see you. I didn't know you were going to be here. You came to rescue the day. Came yeah. to the rescue. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good, Good to see you. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, of course. He's not visible now. Oh, uh, you guys tricked me. No, I, I, I wouldn't. Over. I wouldn't waste I your time. I promise. Hung out. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have wasted your time. There's definitely a gator in there. He's a man eater. Four, four, four five foot, I'd say. No, he's like eight feet. Whoa. How big would you say he is? I don't know. I can't tell from the picture, but 
Yeah, between four to five feet. But he's he's a baby. Like he definitely seems like a little baby. How did he get in your pool? Well, I guess you don't have a fence. There's a lake. There's a lake back there. Yeah, I caught him right there. He was on. He must have like hated that the water was getting low, and he came out. Like he was sitting right here, and as soon as I walked up, he got spooked and went right back in the water. You can see where he's kind of like, yep. yeah. I see it. Oh, look. And little footprint. And you can see some claw marks on the side there. Like, he was trying to get out as the water was, you know, like, trying to go down. Yeah, it looks, it looks like. like... He got on your float, too. <laughs> yeah, he's on the float. There he goes. What the heck? Dude. See, I told you. Oh, my gosh. He's a little guy. So, he's not a man eater. Oh. Oh, he went back down. <laughs> I'm glad he... Glad you came to say hi, though. Like all the news stories I've ever seen about this, I swear to you, I've never seen it in real life. Same here. I've never thought it ever happened to me. But it doesn't surprise me with the condition of this pool. Yeah. What happened in this pool, Omar? The pump went out, and the people didn't care. Like they just let it. I don't know. All kinds of wildlife get in here. Yes, Omar. Gets oh look, there. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Look, James. Look, he's right there. Let me see if I can get him. Okay. Right where? He's right there. Oh yeah. How big is he, you think? Um, maybe like... Like three feet? He's not that big. Okay. You getting in there? Well, I'm gonna try. It depends on what he does. Okay. Whoa! Be careful. Yeah, it's really slippery. A lot of algae in there. Uh, oh, he's scared. He's scared. I wasn't like back up like that. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna leave my shoes on because... There might be broken glass in here, maybe. Oh, you're all stars. I know, these are the oldest all stars ever. So there he goes right over there. Oh, look, there's a frog right next to him. Oh, what? There is a frog! <laughs> you're about to be somebody's snack. Oh, no, he's gonna eat the frog! You think? Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm glad he wasn't his snack. All right, so the trapper is, this is his second time trying to get him. And like I said, I can't show them on video for privacy reasons, but there's Savannah right there. Oh, I think you got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, you almost had him. Too fast, huh? Damn. All right, we're going to try to catch him. Savannah's like talking about just going and grabbing him. I wouldn't. And what if he's aggressive? He's oh, he went back down. I mean, at least he's not. I mean, he doesn't seem like he wants to bite. He hasn't bit the pole or anything. Melissa's freaking out how savage Savannah. I, told, I wasn't kidding you how savage she is. She's in the pool right now with a freaking man eater. So we are draining a little bit more of the water out. They said that it was safe. And yeah, it's not gonna suck up the alligator or hurt him or anything. So yeah, we're still draining some water there. Make it a little easier for us to catch him. I didn't realize catching a gator was so hard. You guys make it look so easy at Gatorland. <laughs> Savannah's in there knee deep with the alligator and she's not even scared. I didn't say that. Oh, you're okay. You are scared. <laughs> I just said, uh, I want, I love alligators and I want him to be able to live. But let me just say this to you while I'm in here. You like to live too? If, <laughs> <laughs> if you have an alligator in your backyard or in your pool or in your lake, don't call me. Call FWC or call a trapper. Don't call me. I'm only doing this as a favor for Omar. Well, I appreciate you bringing the trapper too. Though. <laughs> only thing I was afraid of, reason why I called you is because, I mean, I don't know, what if I would have called somebody else and they would have got him and killed him? Yeah, well, so, and that's kind of what happens. You know, Gatorland Global is our conservation arm. So we work with lots of different trappers yeah. and we try to get them when they catch big old alligators instead of euthanizing them and using them for meat and hide, meat and hide. Are and these behind you? Bones. We try to uh, we try to get those alligators and bring them to Gatorland. How many gators would you say have come to Gatorland that... for rescue? Yeah, probably seventy. Seventy. Probably wow. at least. I mean, Gatorland. Oh, that was him. Oh, he's right next to you, huh? Yeah, he just bumped my foot. Oh no! <laughs> hey, buddy, come on up here. Let's go home. Maybe if I just be quiet, he'll pop. And guys, Savannah is a licensed professional. Like, never do this. Never. Okay, like I would not be doing this. Probably... Look, there's a giant toad in there. You're just gonna grab him? Oh, you clickbaiter! I I knew he was like weird looking. <laughs> there's so much stuff in your pool. 
What are those people on TV that do like where they go down and they find stuff? Oh, uh, the Almighty. Know what he goes they, they go to like rivers and they yeah, find yeah, yeah. iPhones and stuff and GoPros. Yeah, that's a really cool channel. Savannah finally got him. Grab him, grab him. Oh careful he doesn't bite you. What the heck? Dude, she's just like manhandling him. <laughs> oh wow, look. What? Wait, care he's not even trying to bite you. Now uh whoever can get dirty. <laughs> Needs to come in here and uh, I'll help you out. Take his mouth <laughs> oh, look, he's got his mouth open now. Go yeah. for it. Oh, you got some tape? Um, I have tape in my pocket. <laughs> oh, in your pocket? <laughs> really? Oh, I got some here. No, you get no, to get you in, gotta there. Go in there. And do it. Oh, all right, hold this. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's got his mouth open. Where oh, he wants to bite? Right here. Bite Omar. You have to tape it shut, my I love. Tape you gotta tape it She's got to hold it. Somebody's got to come tape it shut. You got it. You got it. Oh, cool. Do it. I'll keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at those teeth. Look at his eyes. Whoa. <laughs> don't, be, oh, don't be mad at me. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Omar. It's a good you gave him okay, a punch on your face. Want me to grab him? Be careful you don't fall. You think you can No, let, let. You can't. Okay. You cannot drop him, He's babe. He's really strong. A lot stronger than you okay, think. Okay, never mind. Help her out, babe. You can do it. It's so slippery. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Come on, buddy. It's okay. We're helping you. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Help, grab the data. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do I do? Mouth is shut. I don't know. But just, I, I think you just busted my eye. Oh, I got him. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, back yeah, up yeah. slow. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thumbnail Keep shot. Keep going. Don't let him go. I got him. Keep going. <laughs> I got him. There you go. There you go, buddy. He's cool. <laughs> Babe, our neighbors are oh, out. Neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's okay. Good job. Oh, wow, he's actually kind of heavy. Is your eye okay? You got pot hit in the face twice. Yep. <laughs> Dude, she's all wet. I hope you got to change your clothes. Yeah, I do. How are you doing? Give me oh. We got him before the rain, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Dude, good job. I want whoa, everybody whoa, whoa, whoa. right now go subscribe to my friend Savannah. <laughs> I'll leave a link down in the description. This is the kind of stuff she does every day. At Gatorland, that's why I trusted her to come here. So you now you have to come to Gatorland and see him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, the 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 fan meetup. Everybody can meet him. Oh yeah, the fan meetup. October six. I, I haven't mentioned this at all in a video yet. Maybe on a couple live streams, but October six. James and I, I, I think even Mo Sarji might be showing Patty's up. Patty's gonna be there. Yeah, Patty from the G team. Melissa's gonna be there. My kids are gonna be there. Of course, Savage Savannah is gonna be there. But we're gonna do a meetup at Gatorland. It's only $10 to get in. That money does not go towards me. It goes towards Gatorland. In fact, that's like a hefty discount. Gatorland usually charges between $30 and $40 a person, and we have our own little exclusive like area that we're gonna be hanging out. Savannah together. gonna be the tour guide? So Yep, Savannah but if you don't come guide. in with Omar Gosh in the meetup, then you don't get the two ten dollar deal. Yeah. You have to be there for that only. So come <laughs> meet me up October sixth at Gator Lane, Orlando. <sighs> and that's gonna be at what time? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two PM. So make sure I'll mention it on Twitter. That was crazy. Dude, I can't believe we caught a gator. <laughs> that took a while though. It did take a long time. Oh, he's I would not be doing this right now because I don't want him to hit me in the face again. He wants to so bad. There's little kids back there. See this is back there. Cool. <laughs> Watch your head. All right, fam. So there you have it. We legit caught a monster in my pool. Big shout out to my friend Savannah Hi. and her trapper that does not want to be seen. Oh. What was that? I don't know. I don't know, but you guys come and you can see this alligator. Post in the comments below and let us know what you want us to name this alligator. We're gonna put him in a special place so that when you guys come for the meetup, 
you can see <laughs> the alligator that we caught out of Omar's pool. <laughs> All right, fam, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. No more monsters in my pool. In fact, we actually got to do a really good thing today. And this is what Gatorland does, and this is why I love Gatorland. They have rescued so many alligators. And this guy, instead of being, you know, euthanized, or used for me or his skin. He's actually going to a good home that you guys can see and visit. So be sure to check out Gatorland. Link will be down in the description as well as Savannah's Instagram. She posts some really cool videos and pictures like almost every day. And check out her channel. She does videos like, I don't know, a couple times a week. I so. do, and you were my inspiration for that. I did my very first YouTube vlog with you and with James and with Brian Bartek. So check it out, it's Gatorland Vlogs. Let's go home. Before you leave though, oh. give me a kiss, bro. <laughs>